Hello, industrious Christina and Corey here. Um, we're going to do some restorative yoga today, focusing on low back and hamstrings. So um, I definitely recommend a block today if you have one. If not, that's okay. You can use a pillow. So any sort of pillow, maybe a pillow from your couch, maybe even from your bed, um, but some sort of uh, object that we can put underneath our low back towards the end of class. So I'll show you. So go ahead and grab whatever you need. Um, and then when you're ready, we'll start in a seated position. So getting nice and comfortable, you can sit onto a block if you'd like, like Corey is. Um, I'm just sitting in a regular cross-leg position, my comfortable way. Um, so whatever's comfortable for you. So go ahead and take a seat, roll those shoulders back. Maybe start to close your eyes a little bit. You can take a couple shoulder rolls up and drawing them back. And then switch in direction. And as we move through our practice today, uh, feel free, you can put music on in the background, or I challenge you to practice in complete silence. A lot of times we're distracting ourselves from our thoughts. So give yourself this 20, 25 minutes to really focus on you and think of what's happening up in your mind. Just notice. Finding any little movements you'd like, and then finding stillness whenever you're ready. Start to really focus on your breath. breaths together, big inhale through your nose, open mouth, exhale, let it go, inhale, open mouth, exhale, one more time, big inhale, fill up, pause, and then open mouth, exhale, One more time, in through your nose. This time, keep your lips sealed. Exhale through your nose. Continue like that, in and out through your nose. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Look up, reach up. Exhale, hands come to your heart. One more time, just like that. Inhale, reach up. Lengthen through your side bodies. Reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. From here, we're going to find a uh, forward fold with our legs out long. So if you have a block on your feet, you can move that block. Get nice and comfortable, legs out long, toes point up towards the sky, starting to focus on our hamstrings and our low back. So first posture of our class today, go slow. So as we breathe and as we hold the posture, then you start to go deeper. So initially, just go really soft, okay? So from here, inhale, circle, sweep your arms up towards the sky, and then exhale softly, forward fold. With every inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. With every exhale, kind of pull yourself down just a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, go deeper. You can make this more active, more, more passive. You can have your hands on the floor, make your hands on your ankles or your heels. Go to where it feels good. Let your head be heavy, maybe shake out your head, yes and no. Try to bring your chin towards your chest and just let your head be heavy. On your inhales, we're still lengthening. On our exhales, we're going a little deeper. A couple more moments here. Focus on your breath. Take one more 
big inhale together. Big exhale, go a little deeper. We'll slowly start to release, bring it all the way up. From here, Baddha Konasana, soles of our feet come together, knees out wide. The closer your heels are to your glutes, the more of a hip opening you will find. If that doesn't feel good, you can always slide your feet a little bit further away. Either way, maybe uh, butterfly in your knees, up and down, opening up your hips. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, start to forward fold. You can reach your fingertips forward, inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, get long. Exhale, maybe go a little bit deeper. One more time, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, maybe go deeper. We'll slowly start to release, coming back up. From here, finding whatever cross leg position you'd like. Plant your right hand right next to your hip, and then left arm is going to reach up and over. So you can bend your right elbow as much as you need to, maybe even slide this hand further away. Either way, try to keep your left glute on the mat, really finding length through your left side body, all the way through your left fingertips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, go a little further. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Coming back to center. Other side, left hand plants onto the mat, right arm reaches up and over. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, go deeper. Moving with your breath, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Nice work, coming back to center. From here, we're gonna come to our tabletop position, shifting your legs to either side. Hands right underneath your shoulders, knees right underneath your hips. Just a couple cat cows to kind of warm the body. Inhale, drop your belly to the floor, look up towards the sky. Exhale, chin to your chest, press the floor away. One more time. Inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, chin to your chest, press the floor away. Coming back to our tabletop position. From here, we're going to come into our downward facing dog, walking your hands forward a couple inches. Curl your toes under, lift your hips high. So making it upside down, capital V shape with your body. Feel free to kind of move around. So treading your heels, bending your knees, maybe shifting your weight from side to side. However you need to move to get into those hamstrings. From here, slowly walking your hands towards your feet, come into the back of your mat, take as many steps as you need to. Bringing feet hip distance apart, it should already be there, if not, bring them hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, and then exhale, forward fold. From here, bend your knees a lot, lots of options here, you can grab on opposite elbows, you can grab onto your big toes with your two piece fingers, inhaling, lengthening, and then exhaling, pulling yourself down. Maybe you're taking gorilla pose, standing on your hands so your toes come to your wrists. So wiggle your toes, nice little uh, massage for your wrists. And then as we're here, bending our elbows, pulling ourselves down. So feel free to find movement. Notice the stretch in your hamstrings. Notice that stretch in the back of your body. Let it feel good. Go to where it feels good. You can keep breathing. You want a little bit more for the shoulders, you can find a bind, maybe interlacing your hands at your low back, or you can always use a towel or a strap, and then reaching your hands up and off your back as much as possible. Once again, bind movement, go to where it feels good. Three, two, and one, slowly release. If you have a bind, inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. From here, bend your knees a lot. We're going to hold one vertebrae at a time. Bring our feet hip distance apart, but not right there. We're going to come into pyramid pose. So that just means we're going to step our right foot about two feet in front of our left foot. Depends how tall you are. Keeping our hips square. So that's our goal. All ten toes are facing the front of the room. From here, bring your hands to your hips. 
Try to keep both legs straight as much as possible. We are going to forward fold, so if that means you need to bend your front knee a little bit, that's okay too, to kind of lighten up the load on that hamstring. So you choose. From here, we're going to bring both hands to our hips. Pull this right hip back. Straighten out both legs. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. And then exhale, we're going to start to a forward fold. Once again, you can bend that knee if you need to. Once you come all the way down, you can place your hands onto the floor, maybe even onto a block. Focusing on this right hamstring. Keep pulling this right hip behind you. So it kind of wants to jet out to the right. Don't let it. So keep it square. Pull that right hip back. Find that really nice tug in that right hamstring. Let your head be heavy. If you want a little bit more here, um, if you're going for some balancing in this restorative practice, feel free. You can interlace your hands behind you a little back. Find a nice stretch through your shoulders. Keep pulling that right hip back, left hip forward. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. We'll slowly start to release. Nice long spine. Bring your hands back to your hips. And then inhale, come all the way up. Nice work. Feet hip distance apart. Bring your right foot to your left. Other side, setting your left foot forward. All ten toes face the front of your mat. Hips are square. Keep pulling that left hip back, right hip forward. Both legs are long and straight. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, start to forward fold. Now, go where it feels good. If right here feels good for you, nice hamstring stretch, hang out right here. So you choose where you want to go. You choose if you have a slight bend in that knee. Think about really focusing on that left hamstring. If you're going for that balancing position, maybe um, finding a half bind or full bind. Keep pulling that left hip back. Trying to not hyperextend that front knee as well. So if you have to have a slight bend to protect your knee, go for it. One more big inhale. And big exhale. Slowly start to release your hands. Bring your hands back to your hip, long spine, engage your core, inhale, come all the way up. Nice work, left foot leads your right foot. From here, we're gonna quarter turn to the right. We're gonna step our left foot out about three to four feet. Find a wide leg forward fold this time. So feet are um, parallel to each other. From here, we're gonna come down with a nice long spine. So bring your hands to your hips, roll your shoulders back, engage your core, inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, start to forward fold. So once again, if this feels good for you, you can stay right here. If you want to go further, feel free. You can have a slight bend in your knees, maybe bringing your hands to the mat or grabbing on opposite elbows. We're gonna be here for a couple moments. So go to where it feels good. Find movement if you need to. You can make this more active or more passive. Blocks or pillows or props are a great way to help you relax a little bit more or help you go a little bit deeper. Maybe shifting your weight into your toes. Notice how that feels on your hamstrings. Big inhale and big exhale. From here, we're going to come out the same way we came in. Long spine, hands to your hips. Roll those shoulders back. Inhale, come all the way up. Right foot meets your left foot, stepping at the top of your mat. From here, we're going to come all the way to the floor. Inhale, circle, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, one more downward facing dog. Just to stretch it out, feel it out. And then from here, we're going to drop down to our knees, sitting back onto our glutes. From here, we're going to double pigeon. So let's bring both legs forward. From here, we're going to bend our right knee. So our right shin is about parallel to the front of the mat. So if this is a good stretch for you, you can stay here. You can always bring maybe a block or a pillow underneath uh, your right knee. 
You're going for double pigeon. Our left ankle is going to stack on top of our right knee. So if you're here, that's okay too. This is a great stretch. So stay here. Within time, you'll be able to kind of relax a little bit more. So if there's a big gap between your knee and your foot, that is okay. Corey has no gap and that's good. <laughs> so this takes lots of time. This is big hip opener, big hamstring opener. So seriously, um, be nice to yourself. If you can't go very far, it's okay. It's all good. Take a couple breaths here together. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And then exhale. We're going to be for a couple more breaths. You can stay right here, or maybe you want to start to forward fold. You can bring that uh, block or pillow right in front of you. Maybe bring your hands to it and just let your head be heavy. So taking that couple moments to find some silence. Notice your breath. Breathe into your hip. Breathe into those tight spots. Take one more big inhale and one more big exhale. We'll slowly start to release, switching sides. So feel free to move nice and slow, shake out as much as you need to, and then we're moving to the other side whenever you're ready. So left shin is on the bottom, bring your shin about parallel to the front of your mat, and then right foot on top of your left knee. So once again, if you need to use a block here for support, maybe even a pillow, feel free. A couple breaths here, close your eyes, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, one more inhale. Couple more breaths on your own. You can stay here or maybe you start to forward fold. Really focusing on those deep breaths. It's really easy to let them go or forget about them. Let that be your focus. If your mind starts to wander or go a little crazy, come back to your breath. Simplify it. One more inhale, and one more exhale. Coming back to center, slowly start to release. Move slow, shake it out as much as you need to. From here, we're going to come laying on our back. So you can move your uh, block or pillow anywhere to the side. Plant both feet onto the mat, reach your fingertips forward. We're going to roll all the way down. Once you come all the way down, bring both knees in towards your chest. Give them a nice hug. From here, taking figure four. So this is similar to that half pigeon that we did before, except now we're laying on our back. So plant both feet onto the mat so they're hip distance apart. Right ankle crosses over your left knee. You can stay right here, or maybe you want to go for a full bind, interlacing your hands behind your left thigh. As you're here, pulling your left thigh in towards your chest, pressing your right knee out. So you can literally press it out with your right hand if you'd like. Take one more big inhale. And exhale. Slowly start to release, put both feet back onto the mat, shake out your legs. Other side, left ankle crossed over your right knee. You can stay here or go for that full bind. Take one more big inhale. And exhale. 
slowly start to release. Plant both feet back onto the back, grab your Baddha Konasana, Sukta Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees out wide, one knee on your heart, one knee on your belly. Once again, the closer your heels are to your glutes, more of a hip opening you'll find. Go to where it feels good. Find some stillness for a moment. Let those hips open naturally. Slowly start to release, bring both knees in towards your chest. From here, wind removing pose, interlace your hands around your left knee, and then right leg comes long onto the mat. As we're here, I want you to pull your knee up and around your rib cage, so pulling it up and in towards your armpit. Right leg is active, toe is pointing up towards the sky. As we're here, really pulling that left knee into your armpit. So, there's a lot of work happening right here. It might look like I'm relaxing, but I'm really pulling, pulling, pulling that knee in towards my armpit. Take one more big inhale. And exhale, pull a little bit more. Bring your knee to center from here. We're finding a twist. Right hand on that left knee, bring it to the right. And then we're reaching and looking to the left. If you have a block or a pillow, you can always place it underneath this left knee at whatever height feels good for you. Our goal here is to try to keep both shoulders on the mat. So this left shoulder really wants to lift up. To get deep into my twist, I need to pin it down to the floor. And then to get deeper into my twist, I can look to the left. That way I'm finding a full spinal twist from the crown of my head to my tailbone. Let's take one more big inhale. And exhale, we go a little deeper. Coming back to center. Give that knee a nice hug. And then switching sides, interlace your hands around your right knee. Left leg comes long onto the mat. Wind removing pose, pulling that knee to the outside of your rib cage. Maybe roll out your ankles if that feels good. Making sure to keep this left leg nice and active so we can keep our left glute on the mat. Toes pointing out towards the sky. Keep squeezing that right knee up and in towards your armpit. Let's take one more big inhale. Big exhale, squeeze your hardest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. Other side, we're finding that twist. Left heel on our right knee, bring it to the left. And then we're looking and reaching to the right. Think about wringing out your body like a um, dirty rag. So really on your exhale, really go deeper. Detoxing. Take another big inhale and exhale. Coming back to center. Bring that right knee in towards your chest. Bring your left knee in towards your chest as well. From here, planting both feet onto the mat. This is where we're going to use that block or pillow. So from here, planting your feet onto the mat so they're hip distance apart. We're going to lift up our glutes a little bit so we can slide our block or pillow. Maybe on this lowest setting, you don't have to, have to go very high. Placing it right underneath your tailbone, so between your low back and your glutes. You should feel really nice and supported. You can bring your arms out long, palms face up. And then just really allow your hips to kind of melt around that block. Keeping uh, our knees hip distance apart. So trying not to let them splay out. So keeping those legs active, but relaxing our hips. And you can really place that block or pillow on any setting. So if you have room to kind of fold that pillow in half or make a, um, a stack of two pillows, maybe you want to go a little bit higher. Or if you have a block, you can place it on its medium setting. 
So the higher you go, more of a hip opening you'll find, but also more of a uh, nice low back release. Big inhale and exhale. We'll slowly start to press our feet into the mat. Lift up your hips a little bit to remove that pillow or block coming all the way down. From here, final shavasana, legs long, arms long by your side. Palms will be facing up or down. Maybe one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly to kind of make that. Physical connection. You can notice where your heart rate and your breath is at. Noticing the stillness. Noticing the quiet. We fill our day with so much noise. TV, radio, phone, Facebook. So for this moment, Try to do none of that. Listen to your thoughts. Let go. Find stillness. Hang out here for as long as you would like. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you soon. Namaste.